Hey guys, Dave here again, and we're working on this little 350 engine. And I was getting ready to uh, put the heads on this thing. I was going to make a video of that, and I still am going to make a video of it. But I wanted to, I got to thinking, and I thought, you know, I wonder how many people that like engine videos know exactly what's going on inside of an engine when it's running and what better way to explain it than with the engine apart before the heads are on it okay i know a lot of guys do engine build videos but today i'm going to attempt to explain to you guys what is going on inside this engine as it's running okay i've got things marked i'm going to try to help you understand what exactly is happening because this engine's turning at, you know, two, 3,000 RPMs. So, you know, it's turning several hundred RPMs every, literally every second, this crankshaft turns several hundred times a second, okay? I don't know what 3,000 RPMs divided by 60 seconds is. You guys can figure that out for yourself, all you math people, but it's a lot, you know? But anyhow, um, so let's get started on this. I'm gonna try to show you guys what is going on with this engine. I'm gonna explain it. And then I'm going to show you what's going on with it while it's running. So you can see inside the engine and think about it with your, with your head. While it's running, this is what's happening with the, with, you know, with the heads on inside the engine. You can't see it, but you can see it today. Okay, so let me show you this. I think this is going to be kind of an interesting little, interesting little lesson for you guys. Okay, all right. First of all, obviously, obviously this is a small block Chevy engine, right? Okay. It's, it's a V8 engine. It's just like most other V8 engines. There aren't a whole lot of differences, differences between it and any other V8 engine. They're pretty much all the same. They all operate on the same principle, okay? So a V8 engine is designed... This particular engine has a firing order of 18436572, okay? So cylinder number one fires, then number eight fires, then number four, then number three, then number six, five, seven, two, and so on, okay? What that means is this is the crankshaft, okay? Every 90 degrees of rotation, you got a cylinder firing. So if one fires here, then it's four, then it's three, then it's, uh, I'm sorry, one here, eight, four, three, and then it's back to six, five, seven, two. So every 90 degrees of rotation, you got a spark plug firing, okay? All right, and again, this the rotate the firing order of this engine is one eight four three six five seven two. Now, other V eight engines, Mopars are the same way. They got the same uh, the same firing order on them. Fords are different. I explained that to you guys already in some other videos. And of course, some foreign cars are different. It, it just all depends on how they design the engine. But they're all going to fire for the most part. Anyhow, there might be a few oddball V eights, but for the most part, all V eights will fire every 90 degrees. Okay, now, let me show you guys something here. I want you to imagine, all right, let me zoom in here a little bit. I want you to imagine that this, that this engine is running, okay? It's, 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 it's actually running, it's going, okay? But while it's running, we're gonna stop it in a moment in time, okay? So in the moment, the instant that number one, spark plug fires, this piston is at top dead center or very close to it. So at the instant that this spark plug is firing, this cylinder is where we're going to stop it. So bang, we got, a, we got a, an explosion in this cylinder. So this cylinder, and that's why I put uh, these arrows here, like up and down arrows, because this, this cylinder happens to be on the compression stroke. It's at top dead center, and it's to the to the highest point up it can go and it's preparing to go back down so it's at the top of the cylinder top dead center bang we got we got a, a, a explosion in this cylinder now it's companion cylinder which that's why i, I put these numbers this way because this is the first four this is the second four and remember i've explained to you guys before that a v8 engine is the chevrolet v8 engine or any v8 engine is basically two four cylinder engines working in conjunction with each other so this is the first four cylinder engine this is the second four cylinder engine so at any given point in time two cylinders will be at exactly the same position in the cylinder okay so number one is at top dead center right now if 
So we've got we've got four strokes in a four-stroke engine, right? We've got compression, we've got power, we've got exhaust, and we've got intake. Okay, intake, compression, exhaust, power, exhaust. So intake and let's see, intake and uh, exhaust are the downstroke. Power. Compression and, uh, ex oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> intake and power, Ed Gammon. <sighs> intake, yeah, intake and power are the downstroke. Uh, compression and exhaust are the upstroke, okay? So this cylinder just finished at the top of the compression stroke. So it's the top dead center on the compression stroke. So the companion to that, Number six will be on its exhaust stroke, and it'll also, let me get this for you guys to see it. So here we are, number one, compression stroke, top dead center, at top foot stroke. Number six, companion cylinder will be on the exhaust stroke, and it will also be at top dead center, okay? So when that cylinder is firing, this cylinder here is at the top of its stroke, pushing exhaust out the, through the exhaust manifolds out the back of the car, okay? Now, when that's happening, now all this is happening all at the same time. You gotta, you gotta kind of understand this, okay? So you'll have right now at this moment in time, because you have two cylinders that are at the top of their stroke, you're also going to have two cylinders that are at the bottom of their stroke because it's a 90 degree rotation. The other four cylinders are going to be in the middle of their stroke, but two of them are going to be going down, and two of them are going to be coming up. Okay, so. Number one, compression. Number two, exhaust, top of the stroke. All right, now we want to know, uh, let's see. The next one in the firing order is number eight. Okay, so number eight, this is number one. And I, I marked them, see? One, three, five, seven. Two, four, six, seven. Eight. Okay, so number one has just fired, so the next one in the firing order is going to be number eight. So that one is getting ready to fire. It's on the compression stroke, but it's halfway through the bore. So let's go look at number eight because it's the next one in line, and here it is coming up on the compression stroke. Now its companion, like number six, is also on its way up, but it's only halfway up, number five, okay? So this is number five, halfway up on the exhaust stroke. So these two, eight, eight is on its way up, compressing, getting ready to fire, five is on its way up, pushing the exhaust out the exhaust manifold, okay? All right, then the next one is number, number four. Where's number four at during this sequence? Number four is... And number four, number four and number seven are going to be the two that are at the bottom of the stroke. Okay, see? Bottom dead center, bottom dead center. So number four is over here. Remember, this one's number two. This one's number four. Okay, so number four is on the bottom of the intake stroke. So as the piston goes down, it pulls air and fuel into the cylinder to charge it so that on the compression stroke, it can compress it and create the power stroke. Okay? So this one's all the way at the bottom of its bore. It's not moving because it's at the bottom, bottom dead center. Remember, bottom dead center, top dead center. Okay, that's that's what that means. So this one's at the bottom of its bore. This cylinder is full of fuel and air mixture. Okay, it's it's finished its intake stroke. It's starting its compression stroke. All right, got that? Okay. Now its companion cylinder is number seven. And it's the same way. Number seven is at the bottom of the power stroke. So this, 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 that one there's charged. Number four is charging. This one here, the the spark plug fired like it did on number one, and it pushed the piston down. Now it's at the bottom of its power stroke at bottom dead center. See that bottom dead center at the bottom of the stroke. Okay, so it's all the way down. It's done going down, getting ready to come up and push that spent g exhaust gas out the manifold. Okay. So that's where that one's at. Now the, the next one in line is number three. Number three is also going down. Number three is here. So it's also going down, and it's, it's halfway down. 
Remember, number four was at the bottom of the intake stroke. Number three is following it. Four and three, see that? Okay, so number three is following it. It's the next one down, and it's, pull, it's continuing to pull air and fuel into this cylinder as it goes down. So it's halfway down its, its bore, halfway down its stroke. That's number three. And its companion is number two. So it, again, is on its power stroke. Okay, come over here to number two. Number two, um, it has fired, the plug has fired, and now it's pushing this piston down. So number one just now fired in this moment in time. It just fired. It has, that piston has not started to push down yet. The spark plug just fired. It just ignited the fuel. This one here ignited the fuel at the top of the bore, and now it has pushed the piston halfway down the bore. Okay, so this is there's a flame, a, a fireball inside this cylinder right now from the gas and the air exploding. This one here is just beginning to start to start that fireball effect because the spark plug just fired. This spark plug is already fired. It's not. It's it's now cold. The the gas and fuel mixture or uh, the fuel and air mixture is doing its job and it it exploded and forced the piston down into the cylinder. Okay, so it. At, at any given moment, when this cylinder is on top dead center, all the other cylinders are doing something. They're all, it, it, you know, th that's how I'm trying to explain this to you guys. They're all doing something. But this is how you can understand this. So you've got this one at the top of its bore, this one at the bottom of its bore. This one's going down, this one's coming up. Come over here. This one's at the top of its bore, this one's at the bottom of its bore. This one's going down, that one's coming up, okay? So at any moment in time, and, and, and I could put it to where all these pistons would be almost exactly in the same spot in the cylinder, but they would be in the middle of whatever stroke they were on. They wouldn't be, you know, uh, finishing it. But I wanted to put it to where at the moment in time that number one spark plug fires, what are all the other cylinders doing? Where are they at in relationship to... Um, how the engine runs. So the firing order, and let me show this to you. Let me back to zoom out a little bit so you can see this better. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. See that? This one fires, that 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 one fires. Okay. That's to keep everything smooth and running, okay? But like I said, all the cylinders, they're always doing something. There's always something going on in them. But now, hopefully, now that you've seen this, it'll help you to understand the relationship between cylinders and how they work. Because you've, you've always got one cylinder at the top, one cylinder, well, not always, but you've got, if you've got one cylinder on top dead center, you've always got another cylinder or another cylinder top at bottom dead center on this side, and then the two companion cylinders, two remaining cylinders are always in the center of their bores, okay? This side here is the same way. You've got this one at the top dead center. That one's at the bottom dead center. These two here are in the middle of the bore. See that how that works? So because the, this one's going down, that one's coming up, this one's already at the top, that one's at the bottom. Same way over here. This one's at the top, that one's at the bottom, this one's coming up, that one's going down, okay? So hopefully that helps you guys understand how the internals of a V8 engine works because... It's really kind of hard to wrap your head around what's going on inside the engine. You're thinking, well, how does this work, okay? How does, it, how does a V8 engine produce power? So every, every 90 degrees, you got a cylinder firing, one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. Every 90 degrees, so every time this, this crankshaft rotates one time, four cylinders fire. So it takes two rotations of your crankshaft to fire all eight cylinders. Just like it takes, and that's why your timing gear is twice the size of your crankshaft gear because in it takes two rotations of the crankshaft to turn the camshaft one rotation because you're only firing one cylinder at a time and two ro it takes two rotations to fire all eight cylinders. So you need to, but you need to, the camshaft to go only go half that speed so that it doesn't Turn at the same speed as a crankshaft because it'd be too fast. It's got to go half that speed, so it's it's only opening and closing valves half that amount of time. Okay, part of the time the valves are closed, and the opening sequence of them is is varied. It, it, it's it's and that that would be a really difficult thing to try to explain that because the camshafts have ramps 
and they have peaks and they have flats. So, you know, at, at any point in time, the valve is either fully closed or it's either starting to open or it's fully open or it's starting to close, just depending on where it's at on the cylinder. But I just wanted to do this explanation to you guys so you'd understand. Hopefully, maybe this will help you guys understand how an engine works, how a V8 engine works. You know, 12 cylinder engines, um, they probably fire every 37 and a half degrees or something like that. I don't know. It's V16 every 15 degrees, I guess. I don't know. Or, or, four, or not 45 degrees, sorry. But anyhow, I just thought this would be an interesting little way to show you guys this. That's why I wrote on the pistons and everything so you can kind of see what's going on with each one, okay? So I hope this explains something to you. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think, guys. You think I'm right? You think I'm wrong? You think I'm nuts? I don't know. But anyhow, this is just some information you guys should use. I'm trying to help you guys understand not just how to build a motor, but how they work, okay? I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, stay warm. It's cold out there. There's a lot of bad weather right now. This is a good time to watch videos. So I hope you enjoy my videos from uh, Mika Moxon, too. Subscribe to my channel, please. I appreciate it. I'm over 3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for that. Now I'm, now I'm hunting for five. I need to go to 5,000 subscribers. So you guys, please subscribe to my channel. You don't have to watch all my videos, but if you subscribe, it helps me, okay? All right, guys. We're going to keep working on this engine, start putting the heads on it, put it together. i got to work on this frame, get it going. So let's get her done. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye.